This is a demonstration of how far I've got so far with the System 15 modifications. Um, as you know, I'm thinking of building a preset box, but the System 15 itself needs quite a lot doing to it. So, what I've got here on these bits of paper and cardboard, I've got uh, an oscillator controller, which the System 15 only comes with one oscillator controller, I will be putting another case here with this inside it which is my oscillator controller build so this empty space here will have two modules a 901A and a 901B <coughs> which I'm building and having cases made for as well uh, up top here I shall be having another envelope generator and then here Instead of this module, I will be having a four channel mixer based on the CP3 circuit. So, altogether, I'll have, I'll have eight channels. So, I've built a reverb which I've just finished. Um, the, uh, the big system I've got, I quite like the reverb, and the system 15, I thought, how can I get a reverb in there? So, I built the reverb 905 circuit. At the moment, I've got reverb on. Uh, direct level on one part, reverb level on the other part. Obviously, on the 905, they're uh, they're on a, a stereo part, and you can wire them w one of two ways. You can have either of the direct full and the reverb full, or you can uh, you can keep the direct maximum all the time and just add reverb. So there's quite a few things there that I can look into, and I'm going to put the controls and the sockets for the reverb where the trunk lines are because I don't use trunk lines. And I might drill a hole, well I'll have to drill a hole, here, for, for a smaller dual tandem pot. And I'll be using these as the in and the outs. So here's my reverb tank. And um, basically that is going to go in just above the power supplies uh, under the metal rack. Now you might say, what about the hum? Well I've got about 15 or 20 of these old Hammond organ reverb trays and I found one which matches up very well with the circuit and actually if you look there's no hum at all no hum at all Which is very, I was very surprised myself. But anyway, so this is the reverb tank. Works very nicely. So I'm quite happy with that, and I'm quite happy with the oscillator controller as well. Um, What I've got here is some wires hanging out and I can actually, these will be going to the preset box and if I ground these wires I can get different footages so obviously uh, one of them is going to that control, uh, one, sorry, one of them is going to that oscillator and the other one is going to that oscillator so
that's what the uh, preset box will be doing. There'll be uh, different uh, circuit boards, the different cards grounding different wires for different presets. Also, I have, and I've just tested this out, my resonance control, which each preset card will have a resonance pot as well. And here I've replaced this <laughs> reverse log, <laughs> which took me ages to find, uh, which has got a, a, a click switch. Now, when, when I click it in the off position, then this resonance control becomes active. If you listen, now that that then the preset box takes over, and there'll be ten of these, and you can switch between different settings. And as soon as you touch the uh, the, the fixed control voltage, you override it because you need to set that to halfway but you can't override that so that's why the clicker comes in because as soon as I turn that up that is then overridden that's active that's not active now Keith had uh, a toggle switch and uh, it was drilled in the middle of here and I didn't want to ruin this uh, this filter panel and I've got some notes for actually handwritten notes uh, that I've uh, got from Bob where Keith originally this wasn't supposed to be made presetable and Keith asked for him to look into it and the only way Bob could do it was actually have a switch if you want to override the resonance you have to click a switch but I, I've decided to put a, a switch into the pot so <laughs> Very my rectangular wave of my my home built pulse width. There you have it, system 15.